So picture number one here is of uh, midnight at the boulevard. Uh, rest in peace, the boulevard's gone because LA is not all that nice to metal venues, but we do what we can to keep it alive. Anyway, they played probably a two minute set. It was pretty killer. Uh, I think they just ran through two songs. Might not, it might have been a minute and a half. And uh, in this picture you see Northern Invader on guitar, just like killing it with like the rad shorts. You got a girl drinking a tall can, you got a guy gesturing obscenely toward the camera, and there's just a lot going on. Uh, Cosmo from Invisible Orange has told me this is one of his favorite pictures, so I figured I should include it, give him a shout out while I was at it. This is when I Hate God played at the uh, Knitting Factory. They played several times in LA since then, but at this point, that was their first show in LA in like, I don't know, seven or ten years, quite a long time. I was backstage and uh, on stage, and I was pretty excited. It was kind of a big deal. The Knitting Factory is also now closed. It was a fun show. Uh, they played like this just epic three hour set and it went on forever. I actually sustained some, some serious ear damage at that show. I'd forgotten my earplugs and I was sitting on stage like directly in front of Bowers Amp just getting totally brutalized by, uh, you know, I hate God and whatnot. But it was super fun. Uh, I came home and I was like nearly deaf, like literally for that night. Uh, my girlfriend got mad at me at one point because she kept saying my name and she thought I was ignoring her, but like, I literally could not hear a single thing. So that was kind of funny. Number three here is a picture of Lesbian. It's a good band. I actually have their pin right now. I think they're out from the woods somewhere. They like to do mushrooms and run around in the woods. This picture is a good example of like where I kind of started finding the style that I use a lot these days, which is basically uh, really narrow depth of field and low light. This is at the Mountain Bar, which is also closed these days. I don't know if they're going to reopen or not. Oh, it's three for three. Three venues closed out of three pictures. Anyway, that was a killer show. They played with Black Math Horsemen, which is a wonderful band, but they don't get around too much anymore. But yeah, I wanted to include this just because this is when I realized like what I should kind of be doing with photos as far as uh, live stuff was concerned. And it's a great band to do it for. Next picture is of Harasser, also at the Mountain Bar. Not really a coincidence, just worked out that way. It's a great LA band. This is one of the first metal shows I ever shot. Might be the first one. Uh, they played with Annihilation Time, a band who isn't around, but they're fantastic. Harash is a great band. Uh, they've always been really cool dudes. They play out a lot. They put on a great show. Really bloody and messy and gross. This is uh, basically the reason I started shooting photos. I went to the show and took photos, and it kind of opened up a space in my brain or my heart or wherever you want to put it that made me just like feel the necessity to go out and shoot photos of uh, metal bands performing live. Uh, next one's of Cody Willis of uh, the Melvins and many other bands, Murder City Devils, a band I was way into as a young buck. This is when the Melvins did a residency at uh, Spaceland. It was uh, January of 2011. That was a show that was impossible to get tickets for. I think it sold out in seconds. Spaceland is a tiny place. That's also closed actually. I mean, it's now it's called The Satellite, but they changed owners. I was pretty pleased with myself with this shot because I got the picture of him like through the tom, which I thought like I had come up with all by myself. As it turns out, several months later, six months or a year even, I was chilling in my house and I watched uh, The Song Remains the Same, the Led Zeppelin video, the one that we all know and love, and uh, there's tons of through the tom shots on there. So obviously I got my influence from that without even realizing it, which kind of goes to show that uh, you know, every influence comes from something else. Like nobody, uh, like nothing is, uh, nothing is original. You know, it's always just going to be an amalgamation of other things, which I think is very important. But uh, some people don't always realize that. A lot of times, if you think you came up with an idea, uh, you probably didn't. This was shot in Austin at Chaos and Tejas, which I covered for Colt Nation. It was a pretty killer show. They're like basically a hardcore band. Really have like really like a, you know kind of violent stuff. Basically, there's a lot of extreme stage diving, like long distance Olympic stage diving going on. And uh, basically, the singer took a big one. I wasn't that close to the stage. I was uh, at least like 12, 15 feet away, standing next to a pole so I could shoot without getting like totally obliterated by the pit, which was like just overwhelmingly raucous. But anyway, the singer takes a gigantic long distance Olympic sized stage dive right at me and pretty much lands on my feet and then I snapped this picture. Seconds later everybody helped him up as is the usual. There is a spork in the frame. I picked this one because it's a good example of you know whatever you want to call a happy accident. In this picture uh, I was shooting their promos for Metal Blade and um, this picture has actually had a flash failure 
So it basically, you know, when they were supposed to be illuminated with the, uh, the city in the background, they turned into silhouettes. But it turned out to be one of my favorite pictures from that set because it's just kind of like this ominous black kind of just gnarly way of depicting the band. And um, I think that's the way they like to be anyway. Like, I don't know, I've always thought they had somewhat of an anonymous vibe. Anyway, it turned out pretty good. Uh, I think they ended up using the picture for their Facebook moniker headline thingy. And uh, it was actually a mistake. I'm Adam Murray, Los Angeles, California, metal photography.